like, I know that, you know, growing up you were a Cowboys fan. Like, are you still a Cowboys fan now that you're, you're, you're done playing? You know, I, I got I got this this love hate for the Cowboys. Honestly, I'll always be a Cowboy fan. Like, I don't think that I'll think that I will ever ever stop being one. I believe, like, you know, initially that was probably like my first real NFL team. Um, so I always support them and I always follow them. Uh, but it, it's it's a little bit different now because, like, um, I, the love hate thing goes along with. So the Cowboys don't retire jerseys. All right. So they say they say they don't retire jerseys, but um, <clears throat> but they have special numbers for special players, right? So in, in in my eyes, you know, like I look at my dad, and, and then like like a lot of people who understand football know that my dad is like now that I think that Charles Wilson is in the Hall of Fame, Charles is like the tenth player to do, but I think my dad is like it was one of the first five or something like that to win the Heisman Super Bowl and several other awards that he's actually won. You know what I'm saying throughout throughout his football career. Um, that being said, you know um, I understand that the Cowboys don't retire jerseys, and 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 I understand that they're giving special numbers to special players. Um, I've just always had an issue with them giving the number 33 to anybody, uh, whether it be a free agent dude that that's probably not going to make the team or whatever the case may be. So um, when it comes to that, I think there's a little lack of respect there. Um, and so that's 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 the love hate thing. Um, like I understand, you know, the number eighty eight is worn, um, you know, by 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 the special receiver. But what number did Troy Aikman wear? He wore number eight, right? Number eight. Nobody puts on eight. Yeah. Nobody. What number did What number did Roger Staubach wear? He wore twelve. Twelve. Nobody's wore. Nobody 12. wears twelve. Yeah. All right. Nobody's wore twenty two. You know, so for them not to retire jerseys, you know, they, they selectively don't give certain ones out as well. You know what I mean? Wow. So, yeah. So that so that being said, you know, I, I think, you know, and I and I understand that my dad actually wasn't part of that whole Jerry Jones regime. But, you know, but but also number not, the 88s weren't either, though. You know, oh, what I'm saying? So, well, so so the 88s weren't until Michael Irvin. All right. So, you know, that's that's the whole thing with that. The number 12 thing with Roger Starbuck. I think that's more so something off the field where they have a real estate, something going on or whatever. Those those are different deals. All right. But like, yeah, honestly, that whole thing with my dad and that number and just anybody being able to get it. I, I just don't think that that, that, uh, that that's a good I, good move on their part. No, I, I agree with that. And I mean, by 88, I meant like there were guys before Jerry's regime where they just con continued 88 as a tradition. And you're absolutely right about that. I didn't even think about that. So I'm glad you brought that up. And that's something that if I can somehow push that, I definitely will. But, I mean, we all know that the Joneses are very stubborn because, I mean, at the end of the day, we talk about your father, who's a Hall of Famer. They won't even do right by Jimmy Johnson, who was part of the history in, in, in a big part of the three uh, Super Bowl rings that Jerry did win. So, um, that I, there probably is something political that is going on, but I'm glad that you brought that up because that is something that I, I will talk about. Um, I gave I gave it to both of them. It was it was it was it was, it was real coincidental one time how um, as me and my dad were leaving the game, uh, Jerry and, and Stephen were leaving the game at the same time. They were coming out their suite. We we're coming out our suite that we were in, and uh, we actually happened to be the only four people in the elevator. Mm. And so um, it was like my dad didn't know it was going to happen. I actually didn't know it was going to happen either. It was just the timing was just the timing. And so the way I, th this is what I got from them. Everything that I just told you came directly from Jerry and Steven in the elevator. You know, what I mean, this wasn't something that I talked to somebody else about. It was just the four of us on the elevator. And as soon as I saw him, I went in because it was just like heavy on my heart like that. So as soon as we got the elevator, my dad was like, you know, you ain't gonna never be a cowboy, right? I'm like, man, I'm not worried about that. Cause this is actually when I was still playing. Oh, you know? wow. So anytime I actually played against them and I think it was Nate Jackson one time or somebody else that had the number. And uh, like, I like I, I would, it would just be situations where like if a dude was running down on punt or whatever he was doing, I'd just let him know like, hey bro, this, this has nothing to do with you today. You know, but you shouldn't be out here in this jersey. And if I could take it off you on the field, I'm gonna try to take it off. You. Got so. you. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad that, that you were able to share that with us 